In economic news tonight, some welcome words from the chairman of the Federal Reserve, Ben Bernanke, said today it appears the recession is over. The latest evidence, a report from the government today that retail sales were up 2.7 percent in August, the biggest increase in three years. All of this helped give Wall Street a boost today. The Dow gained 56 points. But both Bernanke and President Obama agreed that the effects of the recession will be felt for some time to come, including in the unemployment line. Here's Anthony Mason. The Fed chairman used his most emphatic language yet. From a technical perspective, uh, the recession is very likely over. The president also pointed to signs of a turnaround, visiting a once idled GM plant in Ohio, where a thousand workers are getting back on the job. But he was cautious. I think everybody understands our economic troubles are far from over. Between the stimulus package and bailouts, the government has spent $3 trillion to pull the economy out of freefall. Will taxpayers have to foot that bill? That's what Katie Couric asked Treasury Secretary Geithner. Is an across-the-board tax increase inevitable? I don't, I don't think so, no. But many believe the economy and the credit markets will need substantially more support. I suspect over the next several years, even more trillions will be required. The recession has also cost us jobs, nearly 7 million so far. The drug giant Eli Lilly was the latest to announce 5,000 cuts this week. In unemployment offices across the country, you'll find laid off workers like Beth Bernhardt. She lost her marketing job at Hewlett Packard 10 months ago. It's a very uh, frustrating process and it's very hard to stay positive and stay hopeful. Economists worry that the recovery may be too weak and won't create enough jobs to fuel spending and sustain the turnaround. The scenario that I think all of us are most concerned about is a double dip recession. Russell Investments Eric Ristobin says that's not probable. But it certainly is a disturbingly large possibility. The crisis in the economy has shifted from Wall Street to Main Street. It's jobs, 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 which should form the agenda for the ongoing administration. And a new survey by CareerBuilder reports a huge jump in the number of Americans who say they're living paycheck to paycheck. Two years ago, it was 43 percent. Today, Katie, 61 percent. All right. Anthony Mason, thank you, Anthony.